what's going on you guys Michael here today is the second part to the two-part video where I unbox and fly my DJI Mavic Mini if you haven't gone to check out the first part I posted two days ago go check it out um, today we're gonna fly this thing I'm not gonna go really in depth into this uh, with the flight and all that stuff because that's not what I'm trying to focus on there's other channels that you can go see that do that um, that would do way better than I will um, it's about a week and a half since I actually unboxed the video. It is Thursday, or no, it's almost been a week. It's Thursday, and last Friday I unboxed this drone. And so now I'm going to fly it. Um, uh, in the week and a half that I actually had this drone, I have flown it over 46 miles. I've done over 50 flights with it, and I have over six hours of pure flight time with this thing. And the reason why I didn't record my first flight with it is because, well, I didn't want to look like a noob um, with this. Uh, and I wanted to learn as much as I could with the drone. And uh, I'm not going to go really in depth with everything about this drone. Because, like I said, there's other people who do it way better than I do. I am on one of the highest points on, on my property. And we're just going to fly this, have fun. Um, also, this will probably be one of the only flights that I do with this drone on this channel and again if you want to see more flights like this if you want to see more flights in general I will be launching my channel uh, in the upcoming month just fly I need some more videos I need some more content before we fly this I do want to say that I put this drone through a lot of tests I've flown it when it was really windy I've pushed it over water I pushed it over a mile away from where I was and so like I said, I'm just doing this so I could learn as much as I possibly could about this drone. It's a tad bit windy out today. Uh, it, this drone should do just fine. It's just a beautiful day. It's really humid out. By the way, happy summer, you guys. Let's get into today's video. can see me or not but I just got up here recorded the intro it's absolutely beautiful out it's kind of humid but over there there's extremely dark clouds and uh, as I was wrapping up the intro I heard thunder didn't even get to get the drone out of the box I mean I have my GoPro and everything already to do a flight tutorial and it looks like it's gonna be postponed tomorrow is gonna be a week and I'm also going on vacation uh, as this video is being posted I should be home or something, but I'm not going to be here all weekend and on all next week and stuff, so this really, really stinks. Uh, I shouldn't have waited this long. Anyway, yeah, that's really bad. I got to really go back. It's going to be about a 15-minute walk back to my house, which stinks. Anyway, yeah, postponing this. Dang it. All right, guys, I'm back. Just made it back. Didn't get rained on. It's just extremely humid out, and I'm soaked because I ran down a hill, mountain thing. Um, pretty mad. The weather said that it would hold out. Um, it's only 3.30 when I'm recording this, and it wasn't supposed to do this till like, 6 or 7 or, like, 5. I don't know. But I'm, I'm so mad, and I'm so hot. And this video is still getting postponed. <laughs> if I can't do it this weekend, because I'm not going to be here, I might have to record this at the beach. And then that's going to have to get postponed for another week, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to edit down at the beach. <sighs> Pretty upset. Oh, well. Life's life. Maybe we can do it later today when... Um, the grass is not wet or something. I, I don't really know. Or just when there's no no rain. Yep. All right. See you guys in the next shot. Pretty mad. So you guys, um, this is what I escaped. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it's pretty bad. That drone could not survive this. Will it even focus? 
don't think it will. Huh, it's insane. Oh well, I guess we'll have to shoot it some other time. Three weeks later. What's going on you guys, Michael here, and today we're gonna fly the Mavic Mini. It's part two, and it is about two, two and a half-ish weeks later from the first part, the first thing that you just saw where I tried to fly and it was stormy. And anyway, today we're gonna do the in-depth flight, show you guys what it is uh, and how it flies and see if this drone's right for you. Sorry, there's a whole bunch of cars and trucks in the background. Anyway, you guys, before we do that, let's take a deeper look into what the Mavic Mini is and the components that come with the Go Fly More combo. So here's the battery pack. Three batteries, as you can see right here. They just pop right out. You got to pinch this part right in here. Then just slide right back in. And then on the side, you got your power button. You got your charging port and a USB port to charge any device you want. As long as any of these have a little bit of battery, you will be able to charge any device you wanted that uses a USB port. Now if we turn this on, you can see what batteries have battery left. So this one is fully charged and these two aren't charged. Moving on to the controller, here's the controller with your phone. These grips easily can remove and adjust into different places. You got your two antennas which just pop right out and you can twist them any way you need to. This is where you plug your phone into and if I take my phone out, you plug your phone into the charging slot which then goes up into here. You push this in, put it up against it, and it does that. There you go. Now for the joysticks, they easily unscrew and then you pop them right into here easily unscrew and pop them right into here and then just vice versa and buttons like I said taking a picture that pops right back onto there by the way taking a picture hitting record and your gimbal and then flying your drone return to home and power and this has almost full battery I was flying a little bit the other day and let's move on to the actual drone. Here's the drone folded up. You got your gimbal right here. It's able to move around when it's off. Power button, how much power you have. You got your fans, you got sensors. Here is where you slide the SD card in. Here is where you charge the drone if you were charging the drone through that. And here is where you put the battery in. The battery just slides right in and this is where it gets connection to actually run the drone. Then you just fold the top arms out to actually extend the drone into its flying position. And there you go. And these, once you turn the drone on, will spin fast enough and they will line up to make it fly. And they will align so you don't have to. You could have these all folded up and start flying and they would uh, perfectly line themselves to fly. So yeah. Here is my DJI profile, uh, 12 hours of pure flight time, 138 kilometers, which equals out to about 85.7 miles, so got a lot of flight time, uh, a lot of miles, I've done 83 different full flights, and you can click on any of these and figure out uh, which one, if you just click more, you can see each individual flight. So that's pretty neat. All right, you guys, here's a different view with the Mavic Mini. Uh, this is now present day. We will be getting to it uh, a little bit later. Like I said, I showed you a little bit before. This is the battery pack compared to the Mavic Mini with the wings spread out. Here's the controller all spread out, and that's the Mavic Mini with it. Um, hand comparison, can lay my hand above it. And then here is Samsung Galaxy A50. The body of the drone, if we fold this up, can fit onto my phone, which is just absolutely incredible. Really, really tiny, can fit anywhere. Like I showed you in part two, or part one, I'm sorry, uh, can fit basically anywhere. Um, so let's go back out to the field and I'll explain a little more 
Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Here's the Mavic Mini. Like we just said, we just took a deeper look at every part about it. But before we actually fly, let's talk about why it is so important or so helpful, I should say, to have a drone under 250 grams because I didn't really touch base on that in the unboxing. And I want to do that now right here. It is important to have a drone under 250 grams because government, it's law. If you have a drone above 250 grams, you have to register it with the FAA and you have to pay money, you have to get a license, you have to do all this stuff, you have to, they have to know where you're flying because it's a bigger aircraft. But the Mavic Mini, 249 grams, one gram under the law, which is super nice and it's incredible what this tiny thing can do. It's incredible what DJI has got this thing to do. Uh, and I think you'll definitely see that when we're flying. You'll definitely see that in the footage that it's, we're about to show you, the footage that it's about to take. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy this video. It's a beautiful day, no wind out, it's pretty hot. Let's get into today's video. Okay, you guys are now on the GoPro. Here I have what I'm gonna use to take off when I'm actually gonna fly the drone. Uh, here's the drone, just turning it on. Gonna turn on the controller. This is gonna be like my 84th or so, 84th flight, I don't know. I didn't wanna uh, record my first flight with you guys because I wanted to learn the drone a little bit before I did do this. Um, I wanted to learn the ins and outs. I wanted to do a full in-depth review with it for you guys and that just made more sense to me to do that so now the controller and the drone are connected I'm gonna start screen recording so you guys can see what's going on on my phone if I can find my screen recorder um, anyway yeah like I said it just makes more sense for me uh, to not fly the drone my first flight did take place about uh, a couple hours after I recorded the unboxing because uh, there was about an hour where there was no rain uh, right before sunset I a cool flight I'll play a clip right here for you guys but yeah this is gonna be like what my what like 84th flight or so so I would say that um, I've done pretty well I guess I don't know so now we're just gonna connect the controller and this all right and this is probably the most real-time video that you're gonna see. Yesterday is uh, when when the video went up, the unboxing video went up, and um, it's now Friday. Happy Friday, guys! So we're just gonna hit go fly. Okay. SD card space available. Storage location switch to the SD card. That is good. We're gonna take off from this little shoebox. Perfect takeoff point. Okay, takeoff permitted. I always calibrate um, my compass. I don't know why, it's just a thing that I always do. Makes me feel better about where the drone's landing. And you just have to spin it around vertically and horizontally. Yeah, I'm excited to fly. We got a lot of room and a lot of space to fly. I'm just gonna start recording. I am already screen recording for you guys. All right. So just take off. You can either do this to take off, but I'm not going to do that. That's just a manual takeoff. You can also hit take off and hold it in. And the drone will take off for you. So yeah, pretty neat. Mavic Mini. Pretty awesome. Three axis gimbal. You only have access to two axes. I don't know if you can see this on the GoPro, but look, watch. The gimbal turns in the way that you're gonna be headed. How, see how it stays flat to the ground? I don't know if you guys can see that, it's just a GoPro. But anyway, let's fly up, I guess. Absolutely love this drone. Uh, I've gotten a lot of, a lot of time with it, I guess you could say, 12 hours of just pure flight time. And is my brightness all the way up? Yes. 
All right, so now we're at 78, 80-ish feet. Can still see the drone. Uh, let's take it up to like 150-ish, but it's just absolutely beautiful out today. Pretty hot. And I'll just show you what this thing can do. I mean, it's super accurate. The footage is beautiful for this tiny thing. 2.7K at 30, like I said. And I mean, it's just doing absolutely perfect. You can see everything through my phone, everything through the drone. It will be a little bit better quality, but yeah, it's getting a little breezy out. That tiny thing will be able to fight it. I mean, we're 200 feet in the air. It's pretty breezy on the ground and it's not get it giving me any strong wind warnings. But can't see it anymore on the GoPro. That tree up there, I'll put an arrow where it is, but that's where the drone should be. Now we got some nice uh, fields up here. This thing, I'm not doing a range test, but it would be awesome to do one. Uh, maybe I will on the Just Fly channel. But here's a view of the river. We're about 205 feet from where we took off. It does not adapt to where there are mountains and stuff. So keep that in, keeping that in mind, uh, probably take away a good 50 to 100, maybe even 70-ish feet off of it. And we can tilt the gimbal down, look at the fields and everything. It's just so pretty. So now we're 137 feet off the ground. You do have to keep an eye on how high you are, especially I do with the fields and stuff. Um, so if we went forward, we'd probably hit these trees, but I'm gonna go up and out Get some really cool shots with the drone But yeah, it's pretty pretty cool. I Absolutely love this thing. I've flown it at the beach. I've flown it at a lake. I've I've gotten some really really cool flights in Oh, Here's my brother. I just saw him. He is right there. Climbing up this hill, we'll be able to see him. He's going on a walk up through the fields. But this is really cool here. If we lose some altitude when we come out over here. This thing's going a good 12 miles an hour right now. So that's honestly really cool. It goes 18 um, in the primary mode. And it goes 30 or so in sports mode, which we can put it in. And a tiny bit here. I don't know where my brother is, but I just saw him. Hmm. I can't see him through my phone. Oh well. Ooh, I just got bit by a bug. Ow. That really hurt. I'm getting bit. Okay. Here, we'll put it in sports mode. Show you guys what it's like. It is totally different. It's a different game. I mean, here we're going up at 8 miles an hour. And what, we're pushing a good... 13, 17, 20. I mean, we're just flying. We're at 250 feet. 22 miles an hour is what we're hitting right now. It's just incredible what this thing can do. And here we can fly about. Let's go over here a little bit more. There's some nice soccer fields over here. We can fly out over. No soccer games. This is what, like, um, post-quarantine, I guess you could say, after quarantine, coronavirus is still around. If you even remember that, it could be like five years from now. <laughs> okay, so now, we're, now we lost a little bit of signal. Uh, we lost aircraft signal. All right, now we got it back. Here are the soccer fields. You can see them. There's a little pond over here. We'll fly that. And to bring it back, this is probably the furthest point we're going to go. So we'll fly over to this pond and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the drone fly itself back to where I am which is a really really cool setting. So we're now almost 2,000, yeah we are 2,000 feet away so almost a quarter mile away. Um, here's the pond and we have weak signal so I adjust it. I can legally fly up to 400 feet um, with this, that's law. And now, you hear that beeping. I'm not touching anything, as you can see on the GoPro. The drone is literally flying itself back to where I am. 
which is just incredible. We're going a good 18 miles an hour, and we're at 250 feet, so we won't hit any trees. So that is really neat. The drone has GPS tracking, so it can see where it is in the world. It'll also let you know if you're flying in a flight zone where aircraft is. So it'll let you know about that. And up here, this is a good time to explain. Here are your satellites. You got, uh, we have 14 satellites. You got your RC connection. You have your battery. Then right beside the battery, these numbers. I got 12 minutes and 10 seconds of flight time left. Or that's just as much as it's predicting. And if we click on that, we've been flying for six and a half minutes right now. You can see how much your battery used up and what half, like, I don't know how to describe it. I haven't understood that yet, but I can't hear it, but it's getting really close to where I am. I can't see it either. Oh, yep, I can see it. I don't think you'll be able to pick it up on the GoPro. But here, we'll start bringing her down. Now you can hear it. And I'll show you some of the cool modes that the drone does have. Oh, I can't look up, it's really bright. All right, we're gonna, just gonna cancel that return to home. That's the cool part about this. As long as you have good connection, you could fly this thing two miles away and then just hit return to home. As long as it's like a flat surface, the furthest I've ever seen somebody fly this thing um, from to and from with it just crashing 20 feet in front of them is like 3.4 miles. So this thing, you do not need uh, to worry about it. You do not need to worry about it. Uh, like running out of space or it won't be able to connect. But this thing has incredible control, as you can see. Um, so now let's do one of the things that I was trying to, there's me with the GoPro. It looks so weird, it's on my head. That's just so I don't have a mark. But let's do, we have to stop the recording, okay? And what we do now is we're gonna do a, what's called a quick shot. Now these are really cool. You can do whatever you want. We can do a droney. We'll do 120 feet. And we just click on me. Here, I'll back up a tiny bit. We're just gonna click on me. I'm the box, and then hit start. I'm not holding on to the controller. Watch. It's just gonna fly itself back. And I'm not flying it. This is a preset. It's keeping me in the center of the screen, and it's just gonna do a nice cinematic shot going back 120 feet in the air. Really, really neat. Really, really cool if you wanna get a nice video. Uh, or even picture with your family. You can not fly the drone, it'll fly itself. And now it's just returning back to where I am. And there are so many of these. I mean, Droney, probably my favorite. Oh my gosh, we almost got hit by that bird. <laughs> Droney, probably my favorite. Uh, we can connect to the camera. We can do all these different things. Look, we have a rocket, which we can go up to 20. We can do all these. It's just incredible what you can do. You can do a helix up, but then here, if we don't do this, we can also do photo, and we can do a time shot, and so like every two seconds it would take a picture, and we could do, so we'll go back into video mode. Those are just some really cool things. Um, but yeah, let's take it up to, I don't know, 400 feet, uh, the law, and it's not breezy out whatsoever. So... This shouldn't be too bad to edit, you guys. I'm hoping that I can get this out tomorrow. So it's right above me. Uh, I'm hoping I can get this out Friday. Happy Friday. If I don't, sorry, it'll probably be out Saturday. It'll probably be out Saturday. Uh, but yeah, this shouldn't be too hard to edit. The worst part about it is probably going to be... Yeah, I'm going to put it in sports mode just to get up there a little faster. The worst part about it is probably going to be lining up the footage with the drone, the GoPro, and my phone. That shouldn't be too bad, though. So we're about to hit 300 feet. We are at 300 feet. You can see the river. You go on Just Fly, you can see some of those videos. Maximum aircraft altitude. We're at 390 feet, which I have it set to. So we're going to do a nice, slow pan. And you can see everything 400 feet off the ground. Just absolutely beautiful, absolutely incredible. But yeah, Just Fly, we're going to do a lot of videos on there. Flying over the river, flying at different places. I went to a lake in South Carolina. Absolutely beautiful. You got to go check that video out. Um, I've gone to a whole bunch of different places. I keep getting bit. Sorry, guys. Ow. That's why I'm like...
the camera's all doing all that crap. Uh, I don't know where it went. All right, I know where it is now. Here, we'll just hit return to home, because why not? I want it, I want it to come back. So, I don't know where it is. It should be diagonal from where I am. Anyway, you guys, this has just been a short video. Uh, I don't want to fully do, show you all of its secrets and stuff, because I want you guys to come over to Just Fly. Stupid things keep spiting me. Okay, I want you to come over to Just Fly and see more videos uh, with this Mavic Mini. Oh my gosh. Is there a gun meme? I can't see because it's so bright. Anyway, yeah, that's just flying the Mavic Mini. I think we'll do a tiny bit more actually. But if you enjoyed this video so far, please leave a like, subscribe. Now I won't see you guys next time because we will fly one more place. I'll show you a little bit more of the range. I mean, this thing is absolutely incredible. There's no interference because, well, I don't live in a development. <laughs> As you can see, it's just rural area with farmlands. So we're 270 feet above the ground. We're not going to hit any trees. We're going 20 miles an hour. So we're fighting a bit of wind, as you can see. It's not breezy down here, but I can only imagine 270 feet in the air because it is getting a tiny bit breezy. But I mean, wow, this thing just Flies. We're already 800, over 800, 900 feet away. <laughs> we got a thousand feet. We'll fly out to this tree, then we'll turn around. But I mean, I've pushed this thing probably a mile and a half-ish, and I'm hoping to go back to that area to do a uh, video there. Uh, it was just uh, for me, like personally, I just wanted to see how far I could push it. Didn't record it. Didn't do anything uh, for YouTube or anything really informal not not no commentary just me flying the drone see how far I could push it didn't screen record anything and I mean just look how beautiful it is all the greens out here and everything so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed I'm gonna bring it back definitely go check out those videos because that would be awesome I hope you guys can go over just fly and uh, support that channel Okay, so now it's coming back at a diagonal line. Stinking bugs, I should put bug spray on. Yeah, let me know in the comments how your summer's going. What you hope to do after quarantine, what you've been dying to do. I went to the beach and it, it was weird. It was like um, normal, I don't know. Because they, they opened up down there and it was, it was <laughs> normal, it's weird. Yeah, cool, it's coming back you guys. So after it lands, I'll show you the shutoff procedures. Really, really, really easy. Um, you can do it. I give this drone, I saw a comment on the unboxing. Uh, this guy was thinking about getting a drone or uh, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. Weird, weird username. Anyway, they're like, uh, should I get this? I'm thinking about getting a drone. Rate it from uh, 1 to 10. How easy is it to fly? How do you enjoy it? I love this thing. It is awesome. It, it's pricey, but for what it does, I say it's worth it. And I, I, I'm, if I, you use it enough, you can get your money's worth. It's right there. I don't know if you can see that through the GoPro, but I'll definitely get my money's worth out of this thing. Uh, but if you, if you, if you want to fly uh, recreationally and you're only going to fly it a few times a month, go for a sports drone, I would say. Or not a sports drone, but like a cheaper, cheaper one. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not the best person to ask. There's people who do much more technical videos. As you can see, just fly. We do, we do as the name suggests, we just fly. Okay, now we're at 34% battery. We got 10 minutes of flight time left. And as you can see, it's showing up red. Uh, I didn't fly far away where it, it'll actually say, hey, return to home, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. It'll count down and stuff. And it'll, if you can hit return to home, uh, if it's too low a battery, the drone will calculate or give you a calculation of when you should return to home uh, depending on how far away you are. Anyway, I think we're just going to do a simple hand catch. I'm not going to try and land on that little platform. But as you can see, it wasn't very accurate. We're about, what, five, six feet away. That doesn't really matter. Um, I don't really care how precise the drone is.
All right, it's landed. We've caught it. I'm gonna show you the simple, simple, simple shut off procedures. I'm gonna stop recording and we're gonna shut the drone off. You just hold this in and wait for all the lights to turn off. All right, everything is cut off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe if you think this is interesting, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.